Hello, it's wonderful to see a new face here. I'm Grace Coolidge. I presume you are here to learn about my life. I'll start in the year 1879. I was born in Burlington, Vermont, two days after New Year's Day in 1879. I graduated from the University of Vermont in 1902 and I moved to Northampton, Massachusetts to be a teacher at the Clark School for the Deaf. I married Calvin Coolidge on October 4, 1905 in my hometown. I met him while I was teaching in Northampton. I often like to tell a good story about my husband. He was often called Silent Cal because he hardly talked and almost never smiled, even though he had a good sense of humor. A woman once made a bet with Calvin saying that she could make him say more than two words. He replied, you lose. That's my husband for you. We had two sons and spending time with them were some of the best times I ever had. Yet those times ended too soon when our youngest son died when he was only 16 from an infected cut he got while playing tennis. It was such a sad time for the whole family. I tried to keep myself together and being sunny and cheerful. When I became first lady, it was quite a surprise to Calvin and I. We were woken up very early in the morning and we received the news that President Harding had died and Calvin had to get dressed and get out to the family barn to be sworn in. I started crying when I heard the news. It was quite a shock to me. Being woken up at two in the morning, saying your husband is now president. While I was first lady, I had so many pets, especially some unusual ones. I had seven birds, three cats, 12 dogs, a donkey, a bear, and two raccoons. But that's not all. I also had an antelope, a bobcat, two lion cubs, and many more pets, including a pygmy hippo. When Calvin was given two lion cubs from a mayor in South Africa, he named them Tax Reduction and Budget Bureau. I think animals are the most amazing creatures on earth. Thank you so much for stopping by. Nothing is better than a nice chat with someone new. Goodbye.